head down to the heart and everything from the lower half up to the heart. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to start off with the top of the cat. And what you want to do is you want to find your first landmark here. This is the transverse jugular vein. Okay, see how it's connecting this big vessel right here which is the external carotid artery, or vein, or not carotid artery or vein, not that, it's a jugular vein, sorry. I'm really hungry. Um, okay, so transverse jugular vein connects the two sides of the external jugular vein. And you can see that at the, right where the transverse jugular vein branches off, you have two branches. Okay, this branch that goes up to the front of the face is the anterior facial vein. And this branch that goes back toward the ear is your posterior facial vein. And if you dig in that corner where they split, you can find yourself a nice healthy salivary gland. Okay? Yep. All right. So the external jugular runs down the sides of the neck and then it will eventually come into the body cavity right here. Okay, so these are the external jugulars. And chances are really good that your internal jugular veins were not injected, so you didn't see them. But um, this one's not injected, but it's right here. Okay, so the internal jugular um, connects into the external jugular um, just about in the the neck area. Internal okay. jugular is a small one. Yes. Yeah, it's a real small one, and um, usually they're not injected very well. Okay, so from here, your external jugulars will combine with these branches that are coming from the arms. Those are your subclavian veins. Okay, and then if you look, the subclavian veins here join into these two trunks here. This becomes the brachiocephalic vein. And you'll see coming off the brachiocephalic vein are going to be two connections. One, I split over here. But this one over here, this is the vertebral vein. Okay, so the vertebral vein is on this branch here. It's still the brachiocephalic vein as it turns down into the heart. Okay, and if you recall from lecture, I talked about the one um, one vein that doesn't have a pair to it. There's only one azygous vein, and see that right there? There's your azygous vein. Okay, and you can kind of gastric vein, right? Up gastric. I know, hey, this is the azygous vein. Azygous means, means that you're... Without a twin. Without a twin. So the actual okay. vein it is, it's the left gastric. Okay, so if you... If you pick through the mesentery here, you can see where the azygous vein joins with the brachiocephalic vein. And once it joins into there, it becomes the pre -cave. Okay? So those are the veins that you're looking for posterior facial, anterior facial, transverse jugular, external jugulars, internal jugular, subclavian, vertebral, brachiocephalic, azygous, precava. You want to just call that, that thing azygous? Is that not a specific name for it? It's called the azygous vein. Oh, okay. That's what's the name of it. Oh. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to lift up your brachiocephalic vein here, and you want to clip it. What? Okay? You want to clip it, you, so that you can peel it up and look at the arteries underneath. Okay? And that's why getting all of the, um, the pericardium off is really important. Because what you want to do is reveal the arch of the aorta right here okay and remember there are two branches there's this one branch here and this other branch here i'm going to peel this up a little bit so you can see the ligamentum arteriosus okay so the ligamentum arteriosus replaces what vessel in the fetal heart you guys remember fetal heart 
Which ductus arteriosus. Mine are too. My nose. My nose is running. Okay. Because of the preservative. <laughs> yeah, my goggles are working okay for me, but sometimes not so much, especially when I get splashed in the mouth. <laughs> okay. So we've forgotten <laughs> this connection right here. This is the ligamentum arteriosus. Okay. So you want to find the arch of the aorta, and remember, when we're talking about arteries, we're talking about blood going away from the heart, okay? And so, here's the arch of the aorta. What we want to do first is identify this big artery right here. This is the first branch off of the aortic arch. It's the brachiocephalic trunk artery. Okay, and the brachiocephalic trunk artery will split in several directions. Okay, first it goes, the first two branches are your carotid arteries. Okay, and then the next branch that goes off to the arm is called the subclavian artery. Okay, and this would be the right subclavian artery. Now, if you remember, there are four branches coming off the subclavian artery. All right. The first one goes down this way. That's the ver the internal mammary artery. Okay. And then remember on your little sheet thing that I gave you, there are three branches. Um, this is a nerve that I'm cutting here. They're very, very almost like plastic. Okay. They're very strong. Okay. So I can see one branch two branches and then this is the third branch. This first branch is called the vertebral artery. The second branch is the costocervical trunk artery and the third branch is the thyrocervical trunk artery. Okay? So these are all the first branch off the arch of the aorta. The second branch of the off the arch of the aorta is simply the left subclavian artery. Okay? Right? And then you can see that the arch of the aorta, here, I'm cut this. the arch of the aorta comes around here. See how it turns down? Okay. Once it hits the diaphragm, this is, this is called the thoracic aorta before the diaphragm. And then after the diaphragm, it becomes the abdominal aorta. Stand back. <laughs> Simple as that. Okay, so then we get down here, and you want to pick through so you can expose the aorta, the abdominal aorta. Okay, so we followed the aorta down into the abdominal cavity. And you want to use your blunt probe to clean stuff off. And what you're going to find, hopefully, is oops, this very first branch off the abdominal aorta is called your celiac trunk artery. And the celiac trunk artery has several branches. It has this first branch here which is the hepatic artery, and if you could follow it, it goes to the, um, what do you call that, the liver. Then the next branch is your left gastric artery. And then these final two branches here, those are the splenic arteries, okay? The second branch off the arch of the aorta is this branch here. And that's the superior mesenteric artery. 
And then on this side, I can identify the renal artery. There should be an arterial branch just above that. I don't know if I'll be able to find it. Which would be the adrenal lumbar artery. This cat's fat. I don't know if we're going to be able to find it. But you should have a, an artery above that. And if I find a good one, I'll show it to you. Okay, so your renal artery. And then you have... Follow it down some more. Okay, you have another branch that goes off to the large intestine. This is your inferior mesenteric artery. And these small branches that go off to the side after the branch of the inferior mesenteric artery, these are called your iliolumbar arteries. And then when we get down here, remember how the arteries make two triangles down here? There's the external iliac on top, the internal iliac inside, and then if we dig in further, you'll find the caudal artery that goes straight down to the tail. Now, when the external iliac artery leaves the body cavity, it comes out here to the leg and it becomes a femoral artery. Okay, with veins, with veins the same thing, you have your external iliac vein right here. It comes into the body cavity. And actually, let me work on these veins a little bit. And when the femoral vein enters the body cavity, it joins up here with this big vessel and that's your external iliac vein. Now if you pick at the external iliac vein you'll find that there's another connection going into the external iliac vein that's the internal iliac vein. Okay so blood moves then into the post cava here and um, the branches from out here join with the post cava and these branches are the iliolumbar veins. Okay, we come up here and we can find the renal veins coming from the kidneys. And recall that all of the intestinal blood is draining from the intestines and into this big yellow thing right here. And that's the hepatic portal vein. Okay, so you have your renal veins, iliolumbar veins, external and internal iliac veins, femoral vein, and your hepatic portal vein. Okay? There you go. Good. Yes.